Yo, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to Aldemont 7, guys. Today we're making a giant windmill because we want uh, wind power. That's right. Uh, anyway, you guys probably have seen the title. It's probably why you clicked on this. But yeah, we're going to be creating a giant windmill that will be uh, automating our mystical agriculture seeds because of all of the seeds that we need, we need more of these stone seeds and amethyst seeds so we can make cool more blocks. Cool more blocks. That makes sense. Anyway... This is where we're going to put it, kind of up here on this little hill. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and lower it down by one block here. And we'll go ahead and have some fun building a windmill for modded Minecraft. Yeah. All right, there it is. Oh my goodness, it looks interesting. Uh, yeah, the, um, oh, oh no, I've made a mistake. This is too wide in the middle. Uh, well, it's going to be off center just a little bit. We're just going to have to live with it. Oh, well. Cool thing is, is that no one cares, right? Right? No one cares. Let's go up there and build some stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What are we doing? All right. So we are going to go ahead and poke a hole right here. This is going to be oh, weird. Um, yeah. So I want the mechanical bearing here. No. Right where this guy is. Yes, and then the radial chassis is what we want. Can we do this now? <gasps> yes, we can. Look at that. We're one, 16. We definitely want 16. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Um, I think we'll start off by doing this. Oh, I need to put some... Oh! Let's grab some slime. Do we have any slime in here? We do. Check it out. Okay, we're good. And we are back. So if we go ahead and break this and we click slime here. Yes, now it's sticky. Perfect. Now do we need to readjust that? No. Oh. Okay, so it is a little bit different than I remember it. We have to make sure we do all sides. What is... I started moving. Okay, good. Okay, so these are going to go up... Um, two each... Then we're going to go over one, so up to over one, and then over one again, so two over. Then we're going to go up again, but then we're going to go two this way. So one, two, one, 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 two, and then we're going to finish it off with three. And this will be, I hope that is small enough. Let's have a look. Ouch. Okay, we have to connect the corners, which we will do with wool. Yes, okay. So we connect the corners with a wool, and then we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this, and I'll show you guys how it looks from the ground. Oh, oh man. Even though it's a little off-centered, it still looks good, and I don't think we'll be able to notice it that bad. Um, I really don't want to have to go and reset it. Because <laughs> I would have to rebuild the entire thing. Oh, man. Let's see how it looks in the daytime. Oh, my goodness, guys. That looks so good. I love that design so much. Oh, it turned out marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. I love it. I love it to bits. Okay, let's get up there. And we got to go ahead and activate it. It's going to start spinning. 
That's good. We'll do it from the inside. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Not gonna lie. He he got me. <laughs> okay, so we go up here and I believe we just click it. All right. So Oh, I fell down. Do huh. um, where what did I go wrong? Where? So this is why we have to show our work in elementary school is because of people like me who don't know where they went dumb. Okay. So this here, click it. No. I fall down. Oh, I feel silly. Um, mechanical bearing. We need a windmill bearing, not a mechanical bearing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can we just do that? No. <sighs> okay. All right, we're back up here with the windmill bearing. If we go like this now, I bet if we click it. Yeah, it totally worked. Right click it with an empty hand. Hey! We did it. That needs to be the other way. Wait. Oh my goodness. Why have I done that? All right. We are generating stress units, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I'm talking about. All right, now we're going to go straight into a gearbox here so that we can seal this up and make it look pretty. Uh, and then we are going to come to the middle. And then we need to put another gearbox. Kind of in the middle. Uh, but this one needs to be a vertical boy. So like this. And we go down. Okay, cool. So we've got uh, power going down here. Uh, something I'd like to go ahead and do real quick is we're going to get another vertical box. And we are going to see how many stress units we're actually creating real quick. And so, yeah, we just take it out here. And I didn't bring any of the measuring instruments. And it's not mayonnaise. So it's not an instrument. Oh, my goodness. That's how it looks from here, guys. That looks so stinking good. Oh, my word. That looks so good. Like, yeah, you you can't really even tell that it's off-center unless you really look at it. I'm so thankful for that. Oh, my gosh. But it does go through the building here in the front. I don't really care. We're going to leave it. Let's see how much stress units we're getting. Um, that many. Why can't I see how many? Cool. We're, we're getting that much. That That's good. Okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to lower this one more block. Um, and this is going to be here. And we're going to do this. Now we can go ahead and you know, decorate the flooring. But now we are getting power all the way down below. So all we need to do is create a staircase down. Now, I was originally going to do elevators. But I think I'm going to do a scare blah, 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 a staircase. <laughs> a staircase down. Uh, kind of a spiral one. I think it should look pretty good. But we need to get down there and clear out some space. Okay. So here's the center for our room here. Unfortunately, it is even, uh, but we're going to have to go out quite a bit of space in either direction. Uh, I think I have this room set up to be 63 blocks, so I'll make it 64 by 64. So I got to go ahead and work on that. So we're going 32 blocks in each direction. I'm going to clear this out, and we'll be back in just a moment. 
Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we've cleared out a bunch of area. I'm going to go ahead and knock this down the other three blocks, but there's been so much water that I've had to clear that I don't really want to do that right now. If we come over here, you can see there's a whole bunch of cobblestone. Yeah, I had I filled up a whole bunch of this. Like I'd have to probably fill up the rest of this with water or with cobble, and I really don't want to do that right now. So we're going to go ahead and focus on that a little bit later. We're going to light it up. It is very, very uh spacious down here uh i was you know 64 blocks especially if we were to knock it down that the other when we knock it down the extra three blocks like i'm going to oh man that's gonna be crazy but i do have a feral lamp down here that's gonna go ahead and give us some natural light so we can eventually get rid of the torches which is gonna be great but we are focusing on this and if we look here uh we are bringing the power down from the windmill here, it's going into a couple of these gearboxes, and this one is shooting it way over here. And we're not going to use this just yet. We're going to kind of branch off. Um, so right here, we are going to put another gearbox. And this will go ahead and split it. So again, it does, you know, kind of switch the orientation of that uh, but we're going to go ahead and come to the center of this here and this is where we're going to have to mine to okay so now we should be able to do this all right now we're getting power here beautiful okay so we're not going to take this down all of the way we need to go ahead and get a mechanical bearing i believe like this no, the mechanical bearing. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what we're supposed to use. Uh, that's a windmill bearing. This, I thought this give power to it. It rotates it. Yeah. Okay. So then, if we were to go like that, uh, there we go, and linear chassis, maybe? Does this even work? Oh. Okay, that did something. That was good. That was good. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, it's forgetting it. That's fine. Um, okay, so maybe we need to switch this up and go to a radial chassis. Like so. Okay, maybe I need some slime. Okay, so let's stop it. Um, I think I'm doing... You guys can, you know, yell at me in the comments if I'm doing this wrong. I probably am. But if I do that... Yes, okay, that is going to work. Okay, and so... Hang on a second. We need to rotate this. Okay, so if we do one of these and then stick those there, <gasps> it works. It works. Yes. Okay, this is great news. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a waypoint down here called farm. That way I can come back and forth. Okay. So let's go ahead and start planting. Uh, I need to grab a hoe real quick. That'll work. Fortune. Yeah, we have no use for that. All right. Ooh, hang on. Actually, we're going to try to take use of this Fortune 1 on this gold hoe. We're going to see if this has any effect on these over here because we're going to make our Inferium farm. First, that's where it's going to be, and we're going to, you know, 
get that automated, but I don't know if fortune has anything to do with it. Let's get these out of here. I don't know if that gave us a better chance at getting seeds. Uh, we have 32. That was one for one. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah. We need to grab a bucket as well. I just remembered this. Ugh. Water bucket. Perfect. All right, so just below that, we'll do that. That doesn't hurt. Okay, good. Um, let's go ahead... Okay, so those have all been tilled. Beautiful. Okay, so those have all been planted. And how... We need to head back to the base real quick. All right, I forgot that I had made a few of these mystical fertilizer. So let's grow it. Oh, it worked. It worked. Okay. That is very good. The only thing that we need now is we need one of these guys. But, um... Does that still work? No, it left it. We're going to go boop, and then linear chassis, and then boop, and then one of these guys, portable storage interface. And so now, if I do this, yes, all of those are going. Beautiful. And if that ever stops, we're going to lose some stuff. Okay, and so now we need to set one up here. To go ahead and do one of those, right? Okay, so we still need to set up an inventory on top of it. I totally spaced that. All right. <gasps> we broke it. Ooh, I placed this too close. It needs, uh, the good thing is it's actually going to look better. Um, but it needs to be here. There needs to be a block space in between it. See, does it connect now? <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, so let's grow these. See what happens. Oh! Oh dang, oh dang, oh dang. We place that there. And then we need to get a conve... Oh, wait, can we just put a chute on this? Um... Oh. Something happened. Yes, the shoot is working. We have just automated this. Oh my lord. I need to put that waypoint in the base. All right, so let's go ahead and grow a few more of these. Ooh, that one's not getting harvested. I don't know if it's just because it's on um, you know, the point here, uh, but we are getting... Inferium Essence here. Uh, we will, we can come back here and upgrade this. But guys, we have automated mystical agriculture with the cream. Oh, this video has taken so long, guys. If we could hit 100 likes on the video, that would be so crazy. And I'd appreciate it so much. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for the live stream possibly tomorrow. Yeah, maybe.